Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Black Rifle Shooter Dawnfall. It's an anime show that's 12 episodes long, and it's fucking weird, man. <laughs> so, um, especially the first, like, seven, eight episodes, it just, it felt like a weird fever dream, because, like, the... <sighs> A, there's an integration of a lot of like cell shaded or CGI like graphics thing, but it's set in a post apocalyptic world where you got the standard like anime girl is a super powered weapon thing, and they're fighting off a bunch of robot things while she's trying to protect some humans, and they're trying to get to somewhere for a thing. So it's a it's a post apocalyptic thing, robots and everything keeps getting blown out of the sky and everything else. So lots of booms and blah blah. But like the writing is just so fucking weird, especially those first episodes. Like, there are so many times, like, an unnecessary amount of times, that one character says to another some variation of, like, I'm gonna kill you and fuck your corpse. Like, but they're also supposed to be, like, at least one of them was supposed to be, like, a hero character. And then just the, the ease at which so many of the, one of the hero characters, like, the, the main the main guy, the the colonel, he has like an entire platoon or a squadron or a fucking battalion of people that just get like blown away in the first episode or so, just like just easily blown away, and then he is somehow surviving, has all this plot armor on, like the amount of times that like all of the rest of the buddies that he meets up with just get blown away, and he somehow survives. It's just ridiculous. And then just the sheer lunacy of the other like girl weapon characters that just doesn't make any sense for the longest time. Now, eventually, I feel like around episode 7, 8, somewhere around there, I feel like somebody took over and was just like, okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking fix all this fucking shit that you just, like, you were like, this sounds like a cool thing to say, and okay, they're gonna drive here and blow up this shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm now going to fix that to try and make it make sense. And... It kind of works, I guess. <laughs> like, they eventually sort most of the things out, but I don't, I don't know, man. It's, it's weird. There's plenty of explosions, but the general, like, topography of the terrain that they're going over is just, like, flat ground of, like, fuzzy variety for, the law, for, for a good majority of it. Like I said, around episode 7 8 time frame, they start to get more detailed backgrounds and... I don't know if they were just, like, saving their budget from these episodes for these episodes, but the the surrounding, like, the settings for the last, like, you know, four episodes or so were, was actually much better. It doesn't blow me out of the water. It's not a fucking Miyazaki movie, or Miyazaki show, I guess, in this case. It's not, but it does get a little bit better, and there is plenty of super-powered, you know, bean cannons getting fired and robots and other things getting blown up, and... So there is there is that, but it's just it's very weird. <laughs> it's a very weird show in my opinion. Um, yeah, and then there's like this time jump towards the end in order to actually solve some problems. I don't know. It's it's odd. And then I think there's a too much ex like just extraneous devastation for it to be for a lot of this to be believable. And yeah, it's just the character motivations are a little wacky and. The the villain, uh, especially the first like seven episodes, is just fucking just just a just a disturbing disturbing individual, <laughs> very disturbing. Um, and their explanation for for him doing his thing like ah uh, I I don't it still it still doesn't pass the like nope that doesn't make any sense still. Mm -mm. So uh, yeah I don't know what the thought is behind this show, but it's only twelve episodes. So if you like uh, you know girls being weapons and shoot, shooting giant big blue laser beams and various people getting killed and whatnot, sure. Uh, aside from the relatively skimpy outfits that the girls wear, there's not really any fan service. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, there's just a lot of awkward, awkward dialogue. Just very awkward dialogue. I don't know where they spent their money, uh, but they were like, let's make Mad Max, but with anime girls. <laughs> Even though we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, that'll be great. So, uh, yeah. It's a weird show. Uh, give it a watch if you're bored and that sounds appealing to you or you just want to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> For a lot of episodes. 
That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>